Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making these really easy trees. They do fold flat, they've got a lot of dimension on the car but you can see they fold flat. Um, my ribbon is sticking out more than my little paper tree there but these are from one piece of four by four inch square paper. So I'm going to show you, that's double sided paper by the way. You can do this with single sided paper, you just need to cut two to make it. But if you're doing double sided paper then you can get the contrast and colour at the same time on the way I'll show you how to fold it. So I've just put mine onto a, a nice little card and put some gems around it, a little dangly on my ribbon. Let's turn that over and then you can see you've got a lovely little Christmas card ready to go. Really easy to do, nice for the children to do as well. Now also I'm going to show you at the same time how to make one of these baubles that also for well we call them baubles but I think you call them ornaments in America so they're just like a hanging ornament so you can make your own hanging ornaments for your tree now they will stand up so you don't have to have them hanging they could just be table decorations or anything like that but I've put a little string on mine so I can hang it on my Christmas tree or just around the house on your door handles etc put gems inside like I say but they will store flat ish <laughs> depending on what you put in there um yeah to go away ready for the next year so let's get started and i'll show you how to make these they're really really easy so i'm also going to show you how to make them when you've got um a pattern that has to be up a certain way and i'll show you what i mean by that straight away because that makes no sense so here i've got some words on here and some music so it's important that my tree incorporates them now the tree will be straight so the folds will be straight up the middle of this so we want to make sure that the paper's around the right way so first of all i'll show you how to do it where it doesn't matter and then i'll show you how to do it where it does so all you need to do is take a double-sided sheet of paper if you've got one. This is, like I say, it's four inches square, um, but you can make any size you want. So this is, you're not limited to this size. Now just turn it around so that you're going to fold it in half. Now whatever colour you want to be on the bottom needs to be on the inside. By the bottom I mean this colour here. So on the base of the card. Now you'll probably want a dark contrast if you're going on white. So I suggest you use the dark colour first. So the darkest colour on the inside. And then just fold it exactly in half. Okay. And then you're going to turn it around and fold these flaps back to that centre. So you just really want to make sure that you're doing this right. So just get them all nice and lined up. Like this. Turn it over. Do exactly the same on the other side. Just make sure it's lined up nicely. And you can see there, you've just got a strip of paper. So again, all that we did was we folded dark sides in and then the open end, because this is closed, the open end comes back to the closed end on both sides. So you've literally got a W or an M. <laughs> so that's all you need to do for that. And then if you open it up, you'll see that you've got two valleys on the printed side that's not the dark colour. Now, it's really good to note that you have got your valleys in the right place. Here you've got mountains. If this was the pretty side, then you're not going to get dark on the bottom. You can reverse the folds. It's not the end of the world. But if your paper has to be up a certain way, like the music sheet, then it's important that you've got your valleys here. So... What you need to do now is just bring in a trimmer. Now you can use a ruler, you can use scissors and guide it. You're just going to do a diagonal cut. So all we need to do is just line this up. I'm going to use this blade here to line up. So you're just going to have opposite points. So you're going to cut a diagonal line. So top left, bottom right or vice versa. It doesn't matter as long as you're doing point to point. So you're just going to line those up on there like that. And then just give it a cut. Now what will happen, I'll take this away, I've got two in my hand. So the two that were valleys are in, are, didn't fall off the edge of the trimmer, they were what was left. So you've got your two prints around the right way, okay, because you wanted those to be either side of the dark colour. And then this one came from the middle. Now if this was a pattern it would be upside down, you see. So when you turn it around it would turn upside down. So that's how I'm going to show you how to sort that out in a minute. And then you've got your three trees. These two are what you put on your card. So you're just going to put these back to back on your card. Now all you need to do is glue these together. 
so make sure you don't end up gluing two of these together and then the dark one because that's not the look you want you want the dark one to be in the middle so if you want to just take the dark one and just work on that so you know fold it in half so you don't get glue where it shouldn't be and just add wet glue or whatever glue you prefer to use what's up with this glue this was a new glue it's being naughty I'm just going to get a pin and unblock this okay unblocked glue you know what i've got the heating on and it's next to the radiator so it's dried it out probably left the lid off like you do like you shouldn't but you do now what you're going to do is obviously take stick these two together and it always looks like you're doing it wrong because you're doing the pretty over the pretty so but it is right that's how you want it to be so just line those edges up hold it in place and then if you open it up you'll see that it fits so you've got two trees there but only one half is joined okay so now make sure your two folds are together now sometimes you do need to add a little bit of extra glue up here that is tacky so it'll probably take in a minute i'm just going to pop a little bit on there anyway and just give that a rub and you can keep doing that so that probably fall apart um, but we'll do the other side so this is where you don't want to go wrong you don't want to stick these two together so remember you're working on the dark so fold it in half the other way and pop your glue on the other side of your dark one like that and then again pattern to pattern going to line them up that's why it's nice to use lose use wet glue because You've got that wiggle time so just again fold it down make sure it's in place and you can put these under a book etc to stop them from going wibbly wobbly where you've got wet glue on them so now you can see you've got part of a tree okay so that's all you do for that and then just take a piece of card this i've measured down to three by five and a half um, if you're going to go straight on your card, which is what I did, because I knew I was going to do a border, just remember to just put your lace. Oh, I just got glue on my card. Just remember to put just your lace or ribbon um, just underneath where it's going to go. Can't believe I just did that. My like. So what we're going to do is you can use your guide here. So you've got three inches, so you know that in the middle you're going to have a bit of tape for your tree trunk so to speak now if you do this you can then matting layer it onto another piece and things like that so this is giving me a guide of roughly where halfway is as you can see um, as long as it's close it's not really a problem so just take that off put my ribbon down like so and then I'm going to fold it around the back um, just temporarily I'm going to put a bit of tape across there which I will undo when I stick it to my card obviously and I've got my tape ready to go so I'm just going to trap that piece of ribbon so it goes around the back so it's a nice finish now you take these two bits that fell off the other side of the trimmer when you did it and you're just going to line them up where you want them to be like that however high up you want your tree now bear in mind i would put a star on one and i'll be putting a star gem on these so you want to make sure you've got enough room for that so you can always bring the tree down a little bit and pop it there so just work out roughly where you want it to be and glue the reverse side so the pattern side because you want the pretty part of the tree to be showing and then we get it nice and straight and we can wiggle that around if we're not happy i think i've um busted my glue with that pin <laughs> what am i like so pop that one down as well like that and sometimes these patterns don't match up but it doesn't matter because it's the base one so you don't if there's a gap here that doesn't matter either so you can see we've got our tree like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this so you can see if i open that that's one whole piece if i open that it's one whole piece do that one whole piece when i come around the back that's two pieces and they're the same color and you've got a gap down the middle so you want to fold it so you've got all those fold lines together and you would spend a bit more time making sure that top is glued but i'm not going to bother with that right now and then what you do is you just take your glue 
run it along the edge like that don't worry about it too much I always use my baby finger as a smear smudgy tool just pop that on make sure there is enough glue and I'm going to get me another glue in a minute I'm going to just be leaking this everywhere and then you just put it into place so hold it should have done this first hold it so it's like that and then you're only going to be gluing that seam down so this will just get it into place roughly and then open it up pop it down don't matter about that bit glue at the end because we're going to put a star on there you can just mop it up with a cloth or whatever that does dry clear this glue so we just do that and then this is a good time as well if you're going to add gems or anything to your tree you could do that now and you can see when that's dry so you want to keep that up in the air because you don't want that one to glue down if you've got seeping glue like I have just mop it up a little bit put it back down honestly behave yourself it's video shy isn't it so you can tell your trees in the right way and just I'm going to use my peggy tool because my fingers are obviously sticky and just run it down the middle like that because that's where I want the glue to stick but I want this held up as well so you can hold it up for now and then when that's completely dry you can then start to shape them so you can open them up and close them again and then just add a little gem so I'm just going to put a drop of glue just at the top there and then it's because it's a star it fits nicely over the point of the tree like that and then when this is folded up you'll see the dark section so when it's dry and you can reinforce that you can see you've got your lovely dimensional tree on your card that folds flat and then obviously you're going to decorate it matte and layer it and pop it onto a card with some ribbon okay so that's that now I'm going to show you how to do it with a pattern so like I say let's use the music notes and what you need to do with this is so you look at where it's going to be and whichever way you work it doesn't matter as long as it's going the pattern's going that way not this way you don't want to be doing the fold like this you've got to do the fold with it the pattern on its side so if you want whichever one you want to be on the outside the bottom then you're going to do it this way so pattern in and then this out but if you want the mute two of the music notes to show then you fold it this way okay so either way whichever one you're going to prefer so we'll do it with two lots of music notes see there and there now the best way to cut this so I'm going to bring my trimmer in and when you're doing the cutting of this open it back up and have a look at your music notes so that's upside down so turn it around the other way because the words are upside down so you can see you're going to get two trees because you've got your valleys where you want them so you've got your two valleys with the words looking at you correctly and if you look at the tree you can see that you want the tree that's going to be the cut and it's going to come this way so we're going to go from just look at one panel so the top left to the bottom right then fold it and remember top left bottom right slide it over to your trimmer and just line it up something under my trimmer and top left bottom right like this and then just slice it down and then what you'll see is you've got two of your music notes up the right way and with the third one you'll notice that it's upside down because it would be that way which makes it upside down and also you can sort of like change this if you've done it wrong and have that one that way but it's upside down but we wanted the opposite anyway so that's good and then we just go to sticking these two together like that like we did with the other one and then we've got our music notes or whichever way you want it you've got this one and this one so we can pop them down and stick them underneath as well so that's how you do that now to make the Christmas decoration which is this one what I did was I did four so it doesn't matter what pattern you make but you need to do them in reverse so let me just show you that so if you're going to make let me just, just grab in two bits of paper the same so what you'll do is you'll fold one exactly how we have with all the other trees but you'll fold one in like this and you'll fold that out like this We've got one that's red and then we'll do the reverse 
So we're going to fold the pattern in and the pattern out to the seam like that. And then what you need to do is do that again. So you're going to need two of each. Now the little pieces that you get left over from this, I did have a whole heap of them. So when I made my blue one, I've got loads of pieces around. There's only some there. There's a lot more. I think I've left them in the other room. But don't throw them away because you can make a little scene. You can make some trees like this and then other ones. You could have, I think you get about five. Four or five. Probably four, isn't it? So you can do three trees. So you could have like two blue ones in the background and then the white one through. So don't throw them away. You can also make like little patterns out of it. You could even do like another shaped tree like this and you can make pattern lines going down the card. You can join them together. So yeah, look, don't throw the bits away because they are useful. But we're just doing the tree. So what I mean by that is whichever way you cut this, it doesn't matter as long as it's diagonal across that folded piece of paper you're going to get three bits so you're going to get on this one it's two reds and a snowflake pattern you turn it around so we're going to get two reds and a snowflake pattern and what i'm saying is these two we're not going to use for making the ornament but that'd be great for another project then you're going to do the same thing with your red one you're just going to pop that around and keep these like glue them one at a time so just cut one at a time so you're going to glue these three together and then you'll do another section where you glue, glue the reverse so you've got the snowflakes on the outside that part and the red one on the middle the reverse so you're going to have the reverse so you need two of each way then you just glue them together and i've done it with the music note so we've got four now so i've just got four that are glued together now you have got your seams on these so We've got our one, two, see there's a seam, it opens, you've got that, you need to put them all like that, so we've got two seams there, sorry doorbell just went, I had to go and get it. <laughs> There's always something happens when I'm doing a video. It's crazy. So we've got our so we've got seams here with the music note on the outside. We've got seams here. You can see that it splits the music notes on the outside. And then we've got a seam here without the music note. So they're going to go music note, not music note, music note, not music note. And this is the last one because we've done two different like that. So they're all going to get joined up like this so you're just going to glue that one to that one that one to that one that one to that one and then eventually they'll be opposites and they join together but then we'll need to add our um, glue to that so what I'm going to do is just quickly glue these together and I'll come back to you when they're dry I think because it could take a while right I've glued them together I still don't think they're dry but I can't wait any longer <laughs> So like I said to you, just stack them. So you've got a music note, a beige one, a music note and a beige one. So they've just all been stacked on top of each other. Now is a good time to just open them up. And if you're going to add gems or anything like that, do it now. Um, just before it's closed. Because it's you can still fold it up, but it's, I just think it's easier to add it now. And you'll get to a point where you can feel it's halfway. And that's how you would store it for... Um, you know if you were putting them away each year for Christmas so you can see there that's halfway point so just store them like that fold them open so obviously they're going to be closed together but we will do that now so you need to have these seams okay so you can see that there there's like a, a gaping little bit of a hole there which is perfect to add your ribbon to etc and then we can get some glue up on these points as well so what you need to do i wish i had gold but i don't so i've just taken a bit of like this um silver thread crochet cotton i think it is and just allow enough loop and then enough of it to go quite a long way down because you want it to hold and then what we're going to do is just run glue down through this seam a nice big bit because this is what the um, thread's going to sit in. And if, oh, I didn't want to do that. If you just open it up to about halfway like that. And just put it on an angle. Put these two pieces together. 
form your loop to be wherever you want it to be at the top however long you want your loop and then just let that roll into the glue you can add more glue that's fine and also glue to the one of these edges or both doesn't matter because these two have now got to join up these were where the fold were so now this is the last piece of the puzzle are for these two to come together like that and you can see your string is now trapped once it's dry Sarah it's now going to be trapped inside of your tree and then just go through and make sure that any glue that you had on your fingers doesn't keep your tree from being apart so just go in and open all these up like this and if you've got like I've put a lot of glue on these because I did it for speed but if you're going to do that then it's a good idea to have it flat once the glue's dry and just put it inside of a book just to flatten these pieces see that one's quite wonky so that will just flatten it out nicely and you can do it with your fingers as well but that I can still feel that's still wet there so now I'm going to try and hang it so you can see now you've got your hanging tree but it would also stand up you just need to evenly space out these shapes at the bottom just open them up so they've got a nice even amount going all the way around so they've got a good stability and I think they'd be great you could even put like place names on the top what I did with mine was I just took two pearls and I just put a star again because I think it suits the top of the tree so you can see you just lay it like that get a good glue that will stick your pearls together and your string and I just trapped the string between two pearls like that I won't bore you with that bit that because the drying time's quite a bit on that you just need to leave it alone but thanks guys for watching thank you for subscribing liking commenting and sharing all my videos i do appreciate it and i'll see you again soon thanks for watching bye